welcome on this video. Oh, so uh, just um, I will present myself uh, for one minute. So I am I am a guy. I live in France. So I have um, I don't have a very good accent in English. I think so. Excuse me for that. Um, well, in this video, I am going to show you how to use uh, Hamashi to make rendering with Cinema 4D. Okay, so for for starting, what's Cinema 4D? Okay, Cinema 4D is this software you are seeing on the screen. Um, wait a minute. Yeah, so this is this is um, Cinema 4D. is a is an is a software to to make uh, animations, um, create logos, intros, things like that. So uh, once we have uh, create our our modeliz modelization or something like that, we have to render it. But the rendering takes a lot of time, uh, depend on the type of the of the scene you are using, the illumination, etc. But it takes a lot of time to rendering. So Cinema 4D proposes to use uh, Team Render. Okay, so Team Render is a I will say it's an extension for Cinema 4D. It's um, allows you uh, allow you to to make your render on several machine uh, several PCs uh, connected on the same local network. But but the problem with this uh, technique it's we can't use it on uh, uh, across the net. You we are we are we we can just use it on a local network. So, what? How can we do uh, um, a rendering across the net well, by using, for example, uh, PCs on the at at your home and some other PCs in your in your work uh, desk? So, um, for do that for do that we have to. We have to install, create a VPN. What's a VPN? VPN it's a, it's a, it's mean a virtual private network. So it's a simulate a network. So it simulate a local network across internet. We'll see it uh, in details after uh, in the video. So to to do that, you have to download a log uh, a software called Amashi. Uh, Amashi is a free software who allows us to to make um, to make uh, VPNs. So once you have um, downloaded the software and installed it, you just have to launch it. Okay, so this is Amashi. Uh, once uh, for when you start Amashi for the first time, you don't have all these um, all these options, all these groups. Okay, so first you have to you cannot that you must install um hamashi in all pcs you want to use um across the net so uh, for example you have to install hamashi on the first computer that's in your at home um and you have also you must also install hamashi in a in the second second pc that's in your work Okay, so first, uh, let's start with uh, what we have to do on your, on the first PC. So, the, uh, that one who is at home. Okay, so once you have a uh, launch, launch, launch. I don't know how to say. Breath. Uh, you go into network. Um, I, it's in French, but uh, I think in English we you'll see create a network, and under under create a network you'll see. Join a network. So in on the first PC, um, you have to you have to hit uh, create a network. So you create a network like that. So first, it's ask you to put uh, an ID to the network. You you can put what uh, what you want. Okay, I'm going to put a um, tutorial um, test. Then once you uh, you have put the ID have to put the um, a code. Um, what I am going to do? Mm. Okay. 
and hit create. So no, now you can notice that you have a new group uh, called tutorial tutorial test that that I that's what I put uh, in ID. So once you have create the tutorial fine uh, new group, you can see there are one member uh, of uh, and five um, maximum. Um, the ones uh, the one member is uh, you. So to join this network, you have to go on the other PC. On, for example, in our example, that's uh, in your work. You you go on that PC. Uh, you launch Amashi. You go into a network, and this time you have to hit join a network. You put the ID that you have uh, put uh, before on the first PC. That's a tutorial test in my example. Tutorial test. Then you have to put the the code that you put uh, last time on the first PC, and then you have to click on uh, join, and you will see a new member in our group in your group. So I uh, now I can't uh, do this because I am because I am almost on the same PC. So, but when you when you do that when we from another PC, you will see a new member joined here. So once you have done it, uh, you can now go into Cinema 4D. On the first PC, you go on Cinema 4D. Yeah, we wait to launch. Well, well. Then once you have uh, launched Cinema 4D, 4D, sorry. It's a. Uh, I'm. I am. I am mixing French and English. I'm sorry. Well, once you have launched uh, Cinema 4D, you you create your scene, what else you want, just uh, things like that. Up. I don't know what is it. Don't ask me. Okay. Well, then you go here. The button um, close to render. You click on it. Um, for one second, and then you will see Team Render uh, Two uh, Image Visualizer. I think it's well. Uh, it's in English. Okay. Uh, no, you don't have to do this. Before, before you do this, you have to go in Render um, Machine Team Render, and here you can add a new machine in your uh, two uh, two. Um, your Cinema Caddy. So you have to hit Machine. Um, I think here will you will see Add Machine. You click you click on Add Machine, and now and now you will see um, put the ID or IP sorry or the name of the computer plus the port. Okay, how to how to know the ID of the other PC? Okay, for the ID of other PC. You have to go on. Okay, so you go into Amashi. That's what I'm saying. I think. Breath. You go into Amashi. For this example, I'm going to use a, a group I created a few days ago. Okay, so you click on it. You will see all the members in your group. Uh, then, for example, you want to add the first member to Cinema 4D. You click on. You right click on the first member. And when he is active, when his PC is on, you will see no, no, right here uh, copy IPv4. Uh, then, then you click on copy address v4. Then you and then you paste it here. Then I don't. Uh, for example, I'm going to put an ID, uh, a random ID. For example, this. Once you have put the ID, you put two points. Then it's it's asked to uh, put the um, the port, uh, the number of the port. So where you can um, where you can find this. So for this, you have to go on the second PC, and then you run team render on the second PC. Um, you go into files uh, preference 
and here there are something called port uh, I think it's uh, port I don't know how what's English for port but it's the third thing here okay so it's a uh, it's with a phone number regularly then you copy this number you come on the first PC you come on the first PC then and you paste it here and then you hit OK. I'm not going to do it uh, do it now because uh, I put a random ID. But when you put uh, um, the ID and the port and then you click OK, it will ask you to put uh, a code. OK, the code you'll find also on the second PC. The code is the second thing right here. OK, so then you you copy the code on the second PC, we return back on the first PC, and when it's a it asks you to put the code, you paste it here, and then you click OK. Um, what else we have to do? Yeah, so you have also, you must also go here, and um, uh, center, I don't know what's the English for this, I think it's the center of uh, network and sharing, I think, something like that. You go into here, into there, and then you will see two or oh, two or three um, networks. The first is your uh, local network, and then you can see there's a n there's another network called Amashi. So here you have to um, by by default it's on a public uh, network. So you have to change it into a domestic network. To do that, you click on a public network and then you put it, you set it to a local network. Okay, that's all you have to do. Uh, uh, and then, yeah, I forgot. You have to do this on the two PC you want to use. Um, th I think that's all. I have, uh, I have said all the things. So, if you have any questions, you can, you can put a commentary, I think, um, down the video. Don't hesitate to put a, a like. Um, that's all. Um, that's all. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, with Amashi, you can have five members. That means you, you can add five pieces in a group. So, uh, so now I show the example how to use uh, how to add one PC, but you have you can do it with um, with uh, several PCs that you want. Okay, once you have five member in a in a group, you just have to create another group and 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 join other PCs in this group and do the same thing. Uh, you go going to four D render um, machine team render. Add machine, and you have to do the same thing for all machine, and then you can uh, use uh, all these machines to do renders. Okay, so um, thanks to watching this video. I think I, I hope it will useful for you. Um, have a nice day. Goodbye.